and done. Okay, that's all good. Oh, okay, I'll get that later. I could no. no, it's fine. Hey, Clarence. Oh God, what the f what? Okay, and we're uh, safe. I think I um. He's locked away safely and can't hurt us anymore. Welcome to Such Art. Um, a really good game. This is my gallery. We've been making some paintings. And this game just got fully released. And I was thinking we'll take a look at the brand new 3D hangar area. Sound good? All good. So what is Such Art? Well, a game I've been playing in early access for quite some time and it's a lovely um, painting game painting simulator making some pretty good art and this is the newest content available so let's get started shall we alrighty so what do we got we got the abyss into nothingness leading to the apartment to get things to and from Got the deliveries area, don't stand under it or you could get crushed. A lovely little paint vending machine. And, ooh, water buckets. We'll be needing that. Fill that with water. There we go. Set it. Trying not to drop it. We've got, of course, our paint brushes and where we'll be putting the paint. Got the trash chute which looks very inviting I'll be honest quite the drop probably shouldn't do it though delivery area and our first job of the hangar now we could spend fifty dollars and buy a brick wall steel stone wall or steel wall bit odd that those cost the same but I suppose for an artistic endeavor that makes sense Ooh. and out the window a splendid view of earth Board our little space station we are. I'm not gonna lie, if we can fly a spaceship out of here that'd be super cool. Alrighty, so Miss Tark uh, has given us this spaceship, well I suppose I could hardly call it a spaceship, I mean look at it, to redesign and distribute to her daughter. And I think it'll be splendid. So what do we got to work with here? Well, I suppose first off, I will start by using this tool, which is a protector. So basically we won't be getting paint on anything that isn't, you know, the actual ship. Next I say, hmm. Ooh. Got a bit of money from my virtual gallery. Always good, you get participants going in there. I built up quite the savings. So first things first, let's go with what everyone wants to do immediately, I'm sure. Let's go get some paint. What are we thinking? I'm thinking a lovely bright blue with giant googly eyes. Stop me if I'm wrong, but that sounds like a brilliant idea. So we'll need white black for the pupil oh, color i love that one that came out a lot lighter than I, like darker than i would have liked so we'll go for that one and ooh, flames on the side you know don't want to be conventional think about it miss tark is asking for something Anyone could paint a spaceship to look like your classic pink with like fairy dust and whatnot. No, we're gonna do something cool. So, take a big brush here. We dip it in the blue paint and I guess we just get going. Here we go. Hmm, this might take a while. I'll be one sec. Alrighty, now I am quite the fan of the blue, but I also really like the white on the sides, so what I'm thinking is 
if we were to get my handy protector here, if I protect the centerpiece of this of the spaceship right here, and then if I paint these solid white, I'm thinking, and then I'll put the flames on there, then I reckon it'll look good. So, to give you a bit of a sample of what we're doing, go over here, tip the bucket out, because we don't need that paint, and then sit that there nicely, fill it up with a whole bucket load of paint, which will cost us an absolute fortune, and by that I mean truly no more than like $30. Tip half of it out the moment you pull it out. And a bit more on the way. Don't think about it too much or you begin to notice why I, I need the money. So here we go. Now, some people might say, oh, but aren't you ruining the valley? No. Art isn't about, it's not what art's about. Art is about challenging those perceptions and that's exactly why i'm ruining this i mean not ruining it to make it art you just don't understand the artistic vision that i'm going for here so i'll be back once these are colored and then we'll get to work on the flames and that i should be able to go into a bit more detail with apart from just lathering on paint and we're back and i'm pretty sure that's oh oh no what have i done oh no if we if i don't zoom the camera in on where i've missed you can't really see it so i'm not going to but the more observant of you i recommend not looking so what i'm going to do now is the eyes which i've planned i think they would or good here because then they're like actual sockets so if I do that and then well there we go there we go those are anyway those are definitely well you could identify them as a circle that's for sure whether they're particularly nice looking eyes. There we are. Now, plan is if I go and take this fine brush now, just need to go around the outside. Oh Lord, forgive me. Listen, if you have any techniques to make this quicker, you know what to do to get in contact. Oh God. But I'm pretty sure just hand bowling this is the best way. <laughs> Easy peasy. Look, can't you tell those are because I sure as hell can. Okay, now if I go in and I just do a little pupil there and a little pupil there, boom, it's so petrified, it's hilarious. So I was thinking on the sides here, I'll now protect that just so I don't get anything on it. I was thinking flames here some there and then maybe on the side there the question is what brush hmm I've just had a thought this brush is really cool in particular because it lets me do this right I think you see where I'm going with this so my train of thought is if I get that I'm going to test it on the wall first because I'm not Hmm. Well, first of all, I think it's lighter on that side, so. You see, no, I don't think that's gonna work. I'll do it. No, I won't. I won't. Oh god, did I just. I don't think I did. And if I did, if I don't look at it, 
it didn't happen, so it's fine. I'm. Mm, we could try this. What do you think? Hmm. I'm just thinking of the perfect tool. Ah. Surely one of these has to work. Might as well show you the store of the game. So this is the um, pub of zone. It's where you buy all your lovely tools and stuff. All your workshop items. Waterproof bucket. Always good to have one of those. You don't exactly want a non-waterproof bucket. Ladders. Oh right, I forgot there were ladders. I've just been climbing all over the spaceship this whole time. That's embarrassing. We need something to make flames. Phew. Hmm. High precision. We don't need high precision. Where we're going. Just gonna order one of those. Maybe that'll work. That's my current thought. Feather duster I'm gonna grab because I just think that would look cool. Otherwise, a flamethrower is tempting, but I don't think that'll work. Could try a stencil. Hmm. Just order that. No need to worry about the price or anything. Is this how the other half live? Hmm, must be nice. Okay. Thank you. Hear me out here. Hear me out, hear me out. Yeah. I make sure I organize them in a certain way, but sometimes you just can't be bothered organizing. So. Oh, saving. I've got it set to auto save because I didn't auto save once. I didn't have it set to auto save, and. <sighs> you see, I think that's as good as we're gonna get. I'm gonna try this, not because I think it'll work, but I am interested to see what, like, Fascinating. Completely useless, but good to know we have it. Now, has the last item come through? Ah, there we are. Our lovely stencil. Simply the premise is looks like that. <gasps> okay, in retrospect, maybe that would have been easier. Right. Whatever, it's fine, don't need it. That's for cheaters, okay? Only cheaters use that kind of tool. So I'm thinking if we just Hmm. This may take a while. <laughs> I'll be right back and I'll see what I can do. Alrighty, so I know what some of you are going to say. Oh, I told you so. You can't get rid of the gold. It looks too good. Gold or copper? That's my first question. I'm pretty sure that's gold. Could be. I don't know. But I figured let's return to our roots. And it's definitely not because I spent the last... Whew, however long trying to get that to work and it didn't so I ended up using this tool now this is something I got a while ago which is oh so good gets rid of lots of stains and whatnot really helps out it does leave a little bit there but it's fairly noticeable really I also was thinking about maybe using the softener to help make it a bit better but no. So, what we're going to do is we're going to send this on its way. Send to Miss Tuck. And we'll see what, how she feels about that. But I'm curious why it's pitch black up there. Although I guess where the stuff is going, it doesn't need lights. Still mildly concerning. So if I go up 
here. See all your life. Not interested. Thank you, but no thanks. I'm. I'm just doing my job. That's fine. Ooh, there we are. That's your gift. Aw, thank you. See, uh, does not appear in the night. That's very true. My art takes much time. Much, much time. It was a pleasure, but the city's space patrol is again on strike. I need to deal with this now. Right, yeah. So, I might have just helped someone who probably didn't deserve it, but whatever. We've got a lovely job from Unibot. The station technology allows fast transportation of spacecrafts and other large objects, and now you hang out in time. The station replication service is also yours for use for the remodest fee. Signing so items sent to you by a customer and the condition of firstly fulfilling the associated order. And that's very true. Is there any legal troubles associated? There's got to be like copyright problems with that. Wait. You know what? I'm sure that's fine. No need to read the fine print. I can tell you. Um, I'm sure that law doesn't make any sense. But it's fine. You know what? Let's do this. Let's get something a bit more... Let's get something a bit more regular. Something that's not going to get me in trouble. With space police, I guess. There we are. So if we activate that. So what I guess that law stipulates is we have non-functional little replicas down here. Where every time we complete a mission it adds to our collection of the stuff we can use. Move that. Now we've got a wall. Got an idea. Got an idea. Got an idea. However, it is going to require a bit of work. I'm gonna get a nice bright pink, bright pink, bright pink, and then I'm thinking. That's a disgusting yellow. Why are all the colours like over here so beautiful, but that one's just so dull. Is there like a dullness setting on this thing? I definitely did not um, spill anything there, I assure you. <gasps> oh. You know we got her. You know we got it. Okay, I'll be, I'll gonna be one second. I'm just gonna get my ingredients and then we'll be back. Okay, so I think I've got everything. Basic premise is we're gonna use this stylus and we're going to recreate the channel logo as it currently stands. So how do I? You'd think a space age like, oh, so I can't drag it. I just have to click it. Well, it's not the best, but, you know, what's the alternative, right? And I'm going to bring this down a bit. See, this is going to be like the tag, right? You see this on the city street, you think, damn, dramatic. So if I see here, now if I press F, I get like different sort of um, styles. I'm thinking the fat uh, brush for this one. Not to say anything about who I am as a person. But if we just do that. You see, even street artists use stencils, okay? It's just that mine happens to be very space age. If we get rid of that. Brilliant. Bit of that completely missed the screen. 
a little wall. I know it's a bit of a strange style to have a brick wall in the middle of space, but I'm sure that's... I'm sure it's all above board. So if we go to sharp and then... Okay. We just do a nice little circle around there. I do apologize, I'm concentrating quite a lot to. Ooh. I'll go over that in a minute. Concentrating quite a lot to get my nice little outer circle done. Then if I do this and make it wide. You know what? No one's gonna be looking at this too closely. People are gonna walk by the street and say, damn, that's a nice piece of art, and then they're gonna keep walking. How much do I have to pay to get this thing on the street? A lot, I assume. So I don't need this, because I'm gonna be free riding now. So if I take sharp... Now, now I just gotta remember how to spell it. Q. Okay. Oh, I wish there was a way to, like, do save states in this. Here we go. Let me just... There we are. Now we do the U. Okay, now the A. I'm realizing I'm not going to have enough space if I keep the letters that thick, so... Oh, God. Oh no, the T. Oh boy, I'm sure. Oh no. You know what? That's that's good. That's good. That there. That, that's ideal. How do I send that off to the market to get bought? Um, so if I send to the marketplace, I can send it to the trash, but I'm not going to. You could sell it for a thousand. I'm not going to because it's. I don't want to say not that great, but within 41 hours, if that sells for $450, I mean, for that load of garbage. That's what I like to hear. Great, now assumably someone will purchase that at some point. Alright, so this has been just a quick look at the many things that they have in the new update. And the game is now fully out on... Well, I've got it in Epic Games. Fully out on multiple platforms. And you can get it and it's really... I've had so much fun with just the painting aspect. I've made loads of paintings, which I can probably go into maybe next time. And now with this new update, with 3D stuff, it's it's truly a game worth looking at. And you know, for the channel, just like, subscribe if you want. Um, but mostly, make sure you engage with this game, because it's amazing and I'd love to see more stuff added. Thank you and goodbye.